Georgia College's class of 2027 getting settled into their dorms tonight. It is the largest freshman class in the university's history as they enter the next chapter of their lives. Jessica Chow spoke with students, parents, and move-in crew members about these new back-to-school feelings. More boxes and cars than you can count. This move-in day at Georgia College is historic. There are a lot of words to describe move-in day at college. Very, very nervous. It is a fun experience. Excited for this next step. But bittersweet is a good one. Sweet because you get to meet new people. Like I, I want to break barriers. This is grad student Jacob Carter's fifth year on the CAT crew. There are volunteers who help new Bobcats move in. Being able to talk to students and, you know, like move their fridge and like sweating together, like it does, it bonds you, yeah. All right, let's go, boys. A little tired because it's hard work. Uh, we're just moving in freshmen. Senior Bruce Smith is on the CAT crew lending a hand, getting everyone settled in Wells Hall, one out of seven dorms on campus. Just having some fun, lifting some heavy stuff, some futons, some fridges and everything. But it's sweet to make parents' lives easier. This is Lisa McKinney's second kid in college. Jack is moving in. We pulled up and they emptied everything right away. It was amazing. So no, it's organized chaos. And it's sweet to discover yourself. I'm excited to just walk around campus, see where my classes are, you know, maybe join like a club or something, you know. Freshman Nicole Vickery just moved into her dorm in Wells Hall, and she's excited to decorate the dorm with her new roommate. We're going with, I guess, pink and like a burnt orangey kind of color. But it's always a little sad to see them go. Kathy Grassoff will be an empty nester after her second daughter moves into the dorms. Because she's our baby and she's such a good kid and we just, we know we're going to miss her a lot. In Milledgeville, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. Georgia College says they moved in around 800 freshmen and they had about 400 volunteers to help. Now the fun doesn't stop there for those freshmen. Saturday is GCSU's Gives Day. That's where freshmen go out and volunteer around town, get to know the community they'll call home for the next four years. They'll clean up trash at the Oconee River Greenway, paint murals, pack food items for the Millie Free Fridge, or hang out with seniors at the Georgia War Veterans Home. Another college has a move-in day or days this week. Mercer University welcomes the Bears back to campus tomorrow and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4. Students and the parents get everybody moved into the dorms. Classes start next Tuesday. Meanwhile, classes are already underway at Fort Valley State University and Middle Georgia State University. We wish good luck to the Bobcats, the Bears, the Wildcats, and the Knights.